Greetings, welcome to an LGR thing, a really quick LGR thing. This is not going to be like a scripted review. I just wanted to put this thingy together because it intrigues me a lot. Uh, this company, Toast, sent me this skin for the Nintendo Switch. And the thing is, this one, it's made from real wood. So they make like leather and wood products as uh, skins for your consoles and controllers, I guess. I've seen a lot of these that I really find appealing. In fact, there's several for the PS4 by D Brand and whatnot and other companies. I'm not affiliated with any of these. These are not sponsorships. This video is not, but I just think that they're fascinating as far as like making modern electronics look a little classier with some wood grain. I'm quite intrigued by the fact that it's like an actual wood veneer as opposed to um, something that just looks like wood. It doesn't actually say how much this would cost, but uh, I'll put that in the lower third there. And uh, well, that's what it costs for this one as of the time of this review. This is the walnut version of the Nintendo Switch skin. Mm, man, that smells good. <laughs> that, that genuinely smells good. It smells like a hardware store, which it should because wood. Do not remove the paper circle cutouts. So there's adhesives involved, and I've been kind of hesitant to put any on here because I have heard things about the Switch not reacting well to adhesives, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, remove both Joy-Cons from the console. We will do that. So it looks like it's just gonna go on here like that. Look at all these other little pieces. This whole thing is really gonna be covered in wood, isn't it? clean this thing off, which I haven't actually cleaned it since I've had it, so it's probably a good thing that I'm doing that anyway, even though I do not hold the system uh, at all. Okay, I see what it was talking about with the little circles now. All right. <laughs> uh, just apply it, I guess. Oh, geez. It's stuck in the wrong spot. Now, that is some really sticky stuff. Holy crap. Okay, I think, yeah, okay. Seems to be aligned here, so. Yeah, like some spots of it are not quite, I don't know, maybe that's just the design of the console. Uh, either way, that went on there better than I thought it, it would. Um, <laughs> wood. Okay, so this one doesn't have any little circle cutouts, which I guess makes sense. There's not as much surface area going on here. <laughs> oh, if anything, this is um, an amusing process. It's a tight fit, but I mean, that's looking pretty good, I think. Wow. Neat. Oh, man. You have to really commit to this, huh? All right, let's, let's, let's just do it. Hmm. Okay, so I was wondering about that. Since it does add a bit of a thickness to it, these buttons don't have quite the same feel to them anymore. But I mean, I don't think they're really going to get in the way. And I, again, I don't use this controller, so I don't really care. I'm betting you can get like a, a paper cut from that, to be honest. That's a sharp edge. Still, you have to be pretty clumsy to do that. I <laughs> just, you know, you never know. Wow. Not only that, but... It makes this button almost impossible to press in. You have to do it with my fingernail. Yeah, I'm not sold on this part of the uh, process. And I'd have to say at this point, I mean, without having tried it, a skin that's not thicker wood would uh, make more sense for the controller. Although again, it does look really nice. I guess that's it for this, which is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that button is just not able to be pressed in at all. And these others are weird. Even though it looks fantastic, I gotta say, although for some reason it bothers me that these grains don't match up, but I don't know. Still though, pretty sweet looking. All right, now for the dock. So start with the big panel, test and align it with the front, starting with the indicator light cutout, which will be, yeah, right there. Hmm, no circly bits for this. For some reason I thought they I would have those here, but I guess not. So that might be a little tough to get off. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a good grain. Mm. Okay, side panels are next. So we've got this one right here. 
Okay, well that's that. There's a bit of that gap right here, which is to be expected, but now hoping that these top bits line up with uh, these other last two pieces here. Looks like they pretty much will. There's that one. And there's that one. Yeah, not bad. And there's this little block. I'm not sure. I guess, I guess these come, oh, huh, okay. <laughs> That's a little funky because it's on a rubber button, but sure. Teeny tiny power button. There we go. And that turned on my switch. Hmm. All right, well, I can already say that uh, this is my least favorite part. I don't like how it feels and I don't like that these buttons are kind of made worse. And considering I didn't like the way that the pad thingy felt anyway. Yeah, but this, on the other hand, I mean, as a whole, I think this looks really, really cool. I have to really press in to make that minus button work, but then again, I don't press that too often anyway. Okay, now one thing I'm really curious about is how this is going to slide into the dock because it's been made thicker now and that was already a tight fit. So, there we go. Man, that's a tight fit. Uh, so getting it out of the dock now is like, <clears throat> there's a uh, bit of an extra pressure going on there. And it does have, you know, like some play. I don't know. <laughs> this is really cool in concept, but wow, there's so much friction. That is, and I imagine that this veneer is just gonna get like scraped up. You know, not scraped, but you know, it's gonna have a, a sheen on it after a while from being rubbed. <laughs> Will I keep it like this? Probably not. However, thank you very much to Toast for sending me this. Uh, it's interesting, that is for sure. Interesting or not, yeah, I did decide to take it off of my Switch. It just it wasn't comfortable on there as awesome as it looked. So the next day, I used the hairdryer method recommended in the instructions, and it worked just fine. No residue was left, it did not damage my Switch's finish, although of course it was only on there for 24 hours, so your mileage may vary. Still, while I'm not a fan of this Switch cover in particular, I do really like the idea of what Toast is doing. I mean, they do this for all sorts of other systems, you know, like phones and other consoles. They do custom laser etching, which I think is really cool. In fact, if they could do a custom one for my wood grade 486, that would be like, I could probably do it myself. I have walnut veneer, but anyway, if you enjoyed this episode of LGR, then perhaps you would like to see some of my others. There's new videos every Monday and Friday here on LGR. And as always, thank you very much for watching.